proposing is an art. Stephen has proposed to me at least six times. I have proposed to Jennifer three times. The first proposal was on her birthday in November of 18. I took her to dinner and I gave her the ring. I was elated. The ring that Stephen gave me, however, was fake. I did that deliberately. It was really a promise ring. And the second proposal after a long period of breakup was June of uh, 19. He was promising a new start. What I enjoy doing is the element of surprise. It's actually deliberate down on one knee. So you know, always on the right knee, right? That's just my technique. He actually gave me three rings. One was an engagement ring and then a wedding set, finding out later that they were all fake. The next time Stephen proposed was when we were on a cruise in Mexico. So I went and deliberately found a nice diamond. The ring that I have now, it is my favorite, and it is apparently the only one that's real. On a cruise, I purchased a new engagement ring for her, gave it to her on the beach in Cozumel, and later that day, she became combative, so I took the ring back. She complained to the captain that I'd stolen the ring, and she attempted to have me arrested on the boat. The euphoric effect of him proposing had worn off by the second, third, or fourth time that he had proposed. There has never been a ring number four. There haven't been four proposals. She has never returned the rings in all of the times where we've broken up. She says, oh no, what's, uh, what's mine is mine, it was a gift. Well, Jennifer has left her fiance, Stephen, countless times, uh, but always manages to take him back. Now, Stephen agrees their relationship is completely toxic and dysfunctional, but he is not ready to give up on Jennifer just yet because in his words, quote, failure is not an option. Jennifer and I have a relationship that is sometimes very good and sometimes awful. You filthy bastard. We are in love, but the combative, toxic, volatile nature is just incredible. You don't like people knowing that you're she is very good at playing Sherlock Holmes. She goes into my cell phone, will delete messages, delete every female name in my contacts list. She makes me wear a wedding ring, even though we're not married. She wants it to be known that I'm taken. Jennifer will go through my bank accounts. She looks for any indication that I'm paying women for something. You hire prostitutes? You Scumbag. You're you're, you're you prostitute, you, in a hotel. You're the only person I ever stay in a hotel with. She does not believe that I am faithful to her. The largest single problem is alcohol. Oh, I'll be in How much did that cost you? You're up. She has a drink every morning, and she drinks, you know, one every 30 minutes all day long. So by the end of the day, she has consumed 15 to 20 spritzers. She will slur her words and become combative. One time, we were driving along, and she reached over my head and grabbed the sun visor, yanked it out of the ceiling of the car, and started beating me with the sun visor. We keep coming back to each other because we're addicted to one another. OK, Stephen, good to meet you. Good to meet you, sir. I'm guessing that you dispute that you drugged and raped her the first time you guys hung out. Most certainly. That never happened. Yeah, I wanted to give you opportunity to respond to that clearly. Never, never happened. And she willingly stayed with me, and I willingly stayed with her, and things happened after that. Uh -huh. All consensual. No, that's not true. Okay. I had been celibate for four years and one day. So you think you were taken advantage of? Absolutely. If she believes that about you, why would you get back in a relationship with her? Why would she get back in a relationship with you? Why would you want to get back in a relationship with somebody that believes that you are a rapist? She didn't speak to me, and I thought this was odd. Every now and then, I would text and say, what's the matter? And then she would respond and say, leave me alone, you rapist. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.